Hi, my name's Sarah, and I'm the Mid Wales Red Squirrel Officer with the Wildlife Trust of South and West Wales. I'm here to tell you about how to tell the difference between red and grey squirrels. You would think it would be easy, right? Red squirrels are red, and grey squirrels are grey. Unfortunately, it's not always that straightforward. Here are a couple of examples of squirrels that don't fit that rule. One of the main features many people will look for after coat colour is ear tufts. Here we have some examples of red and grey squirrel ears. As you can see, red squirrels often have an ear tuft. Unfortunately, they don't always have this, and it can often be hard to see, especially if they don't stick around long enough for you to have a good look. The best thing to look out for is in fact the tail. Grey squirrels have a particular halo effect to their tails, and this is visible even on very red-coated individuals. Red squirrels' tails tend to be uniform in colour along the length of the fur. Their tails can be patchy, blonde, black, grey, with a pale tip, and sometimes with a dark core, but they don't have the same halo effect. Another clue is size. If you have a sense of scale, grey squirrels are larger and stockier, and red squirrels are much slimmer looking. I hope that this helps you identify what squirrels you're seeing out and about. Remember, it's not as easy as coat colour and the tail is the key.